Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the new UDP telemetry feature in Android. Uh, we are going to talk about some more details and some updates on it. First, let us disable it. So, if we run it now, it is no, no longer active here and no longer active no longer active on web client and no longer active on the android screen as we can see the telemetry label um, there is not available text next to the telemetry label and on the web client there is no uh, telemetry information if we want to enable it connection lock. Connection lock. Disconnected. here it is Drone mode activated validated access code connecting to server is active and the port is mentioned here here on web client and on android uh, screen now we can connect We can control the vehicle from here. The web client is working in parallel as we can see. And by the way, there is no dependency at all between web client and mission planner. I am just displaying them in the same screen just for demo. The web client can be a, in a location and the mission planner can be in a different, totally different location on a totally different city or country. Uh, because uh, as, we, as the telemetry is socket is no longer depends on web client and it runs on the server uh, now all we need to run mission planner as i mentioned before is to know this ip and port and this ip and port is mentioned here on web client and mentioned on android uh, screen on the mobile even if i disconnect the mobile and reconnect it again the port is the same it doesn't change it will change only if i disable it like that because this means the the port is terminated on the server and i will re-enable it again now there is a new port as we can see we can control the drone from here or the vehicle from here as you can see it is moving here but not moving here now to make it move on mission planner we need to update the port number here it is So we need to make sure that we are writing the correct port and normally the port will not change. The purpose behind that uh, feature is that sometimes when you are uh, flying using a mobile, sometimes the network is weak and the mobile disconnects and reconnects again. So it needs to keep the IP and the port the same because um, if you are uh, depending on mission planner only, uh, that means you have no way to uh, retrieve the port number the port number is on the screen of the mobile only so it keeps the port number the same there is a very rare occasion when this port will change which is if the server side disconnect i will now i'm running on a local server here and i will restart the server The whole system will reconnect again but as we can see there is a new port here and we need to put it here if you disable the system uh, the telemetry here Connecting to server. 3DR service the, this button appears. 
is off and we can now run and drive plugin and depend on now we will run and drive uh, telemetry from the web mission planner now is not using the udb server it is using the uh, the, the udb connection which is now uh, one four five V4.3.0 dev 316cc70. Now we are connected using uh, the normal for the old telemetry. Now we are connecting uh, to mission planner using the old telemetry, uh, which is which requires web client to be on the same machine with mission planner, and uh, requires uh, Android plugin to be running. And by the way, it is slower than the, the new telemetry. If you want telemetry and you want uh, to run uh, telemetry uh, on Mission Planner, then please activate the UDP. Now, if we activate the UDP, we take this connection, connect it here. And we have mission planner running command running and connected to Android. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm still working on this feature and hopefully uh, there are more features coming soon. Thank you.